scientists around the world are interested in exploring Mars. Over the past 30 years, there have been dozens of unmanned missions to the Red Planet. However, traveling to Mars is not easy. About two-thirds of these missions were failures. Because missions to Mars are dangerous and expensive, plans for a manned mission to Mars have been delayed for decades. The international space community is still not ready to send humans there. However, a manned mission to Mars is a goal that Dr. Bob Zubrin really believes in. NASA had plans to send people to Mars by 1981. Those plans were credible. We should have been on Mars a quarter century ago. Bob Zubrin is president of the Mars Society, an international organization he helped start in 1998. The Mars Society supports the goal of having humans explore and live on Mars. Its members talk to government agencies and private companies to get money to explore Mars. Zubrin is also doing research to prepare for a manned mission to Mars. The Mars Society set up living spaces designed for Mars in the deserts of Utah in the western United States and on Devon Island in northern Canada. These remote areas are similar in some ways to the surface of Mars. We're trying to find out what field tactics and techniques would be most usefully applied on Mars, um, what technologies would be most useful to the crew. Zubrin has ambitious ideas. He plans to colonize the planet. We're going to Mars because Mars is the planet that has on it the resources needed to support life, and therefore potentially someday human civilization. For Zubrin, Mars is the new frontier. Whether or not there has been life on Mars, whether or not there is life on Mars, there will be life on Mars. And it will be us. Zubrin isn't the only one with plans for the Red Planet. Dr. Chris McKay has another idea. He wants to create an atmosphere on Mars so humans can live there. If we go to Mars and find that there is no life, then I say we might as well move in. McKay believes that for humans to eventually live on Mars, they need to start by warming up its atmosphere. Well, we know how to warm up planets. We're doing it on Earth. The first step to warming up the planet is putting greenhouse gases into the Martian atmosphere. The effect of these gases would be to melt the ice, bring back the atmosphere, and restore Mars to the conditions it was billions of years ago. But if humans are going to live on Mars, they're going to need oxygen. Chris McKay has an idea about how to create oxygen on Mars using tiny organisms called cyanobacteria. These organisms are known as cyanobacteria. It's a type of algae, a single cell type of algae, that has a very long history on Earth. These were the organisms that first made the oxygen. And these organisms could do the same thing on Mars. Send them to Mars and ask them to change the world. Cyanobacteria, the planet changers. Scientists continue to study Mars so that one day humans will travel to the Red Planet. And perhaps someday in the future, humans will live there.